So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. Here is the biggest update of this time. That is the mock round 2 allotment has been done now on the JOSA official website. As you have checked the mock round 1 allotment, similar way you will able to check the mock round 2 allotment. The link is activated now. You will able to check the mock round 2 allotment. So what you need to do after this that I would that I would like to talk now that is obviously this is the mock round. So you will not have any type of decision making. But obviously you have the option to change the choices now. That is up to tomorrow you will able to do the changes in the choice spelling. So try to do it very carefully because lots of students have done the lots of changes after first mock round allotment and that sometime it is necessary, sometime it is unnecessary. Because it is not like if you are not getting seat, if you will change the choices, then cutoff will change. Obviously, if you will put in right order, you will able to get the best out of your rank. But by changing your choices, cutoff will not change. Cutoff is fixed. Suppose if the cutoff is 80,000 and your rank is 90,000, then if you will put that choice at 20 number, 30 number or first number, that doesn't matter. Because your allotment will be purely based on your rank and your choices, whatever you have put. And the maximum significance is of your rank. So the important thing is that up to tomorrow, you need to change the choices. After that, you will not able to change up to the 6th round of Joshua counselling. Obviously, in CSAB counselling, you can change the choices. But now, it is do or die situation for you. So, if you want complete guidance regarding your choice spelling, that is personal choice spelling based on your expectation. It is not like just to get the best out of your rank. Also, to get the best for your final interest, that is what type of what type of interest you have, what type of course you want to do and what you want to be after 4 years, that is whether you want to do the higher studies or higher a salary job. So different type of thing needs to be considered before the choice filling and that takes lots of time. That's why I will be providing you complete guidance. Once you register with my guidance, there is a nominal chart for that. If you want, you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number. So once again, I would like to inform you at this time, you will not able to choose any sliding or float option because this is mock round allotment. And also you may have got the same allotment in first round and, and second round if you haven't done any type of changes in mock round because in mock round cutoff not changes. If it, it changes, your allotment may change because of your choice filling changes or because of other choice filling changes. Because you also know in the mock allotment there is no seat cancellation and no additional seat has been added. So how the cutoff will change it. But in original round what happens is after first round there will be lots of rejection. Many students will not pay the fee. Many students will get, get the rejection in document verification. So all those seats will be considered for the next round. That's why the cutoff changes in each upcoming round. You can check the last year cutoff data for that as well. I just want to assure you that this is the worst case scenario that is worst case that you can get but in upcoming round you will able to get the better choices than whatever you have got now but obviously you have to do the choice filling decision making very carefully up to your admission is done it is not only about choice filling also about the decision making after each round so if you want for complete thing I will be guiding you not only for JOSA and CSEP but for Jack Daly, Jack Chandigarh, MSDCT, BITSAT Comment K, everything I will be guiding you up to your admission is done. If you want, you can contact me anytime through Instagram or WhatsApp number. There is a nominal charge for that. So, thanks for watching this video. Hope you all have got the desired branch. If not, then try to do the changes as instructed by me in this video. So, thanks again for watching this video. Please try to subscribe. So, now I would like to introduce the Philo app where you can get the solution of all your questions, doubt, or you have problem with any type of concept related to J or NEET or boards examination. Then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps that is first you have to download the philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app and after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the india's best educator in question you want to say that the bulb ki power is how much bulb is 220 voltage per operator right this battery ka jo voltage is given at 220 so this is a simple relation ho so without wasting your time, download the Philo app, link is available in the description box and use the code IEB001, you will get the 10% instant discount.